Hey gang, this is Stormy. Welcome back to Stormy Plays Legendary, and this is a CTM map made by Vex that we are having so much fun in, despite some unfortunate deaths and creeper explosions and things like that. But of course, that just comes along with the territory. But I have to say what doesn't usually come along with the territory is what we found last episode. If I can get there again, I will refresh your memories. <clears throat> I can't recall that I've ever seen a giant bedrock cube suspended over a pool of lava ringed by glass before. In a giant bedrock room with gas spawners in the upper corner. I can't say... That looks like two gas spawners over there. But I can't say I've ever experienced this before, pets. Now, last episode I was pondering... The course of action of enderpearling to the center of the room. Now, the downside to that is I'm really not sure whether or not we'll be in range of the gas spawners. I don't think we will be. But, well. Um, pets? There goes nothing. Get off. Go away. Stop that. Okay, so. There's all kinds of bad guys after us down there. So I think... That. Oh, nuts. Okay, fine. Looks like it reaches over there, maybe. So, all right. So we're here. Oh crap! Don't shoot through that lava. Damn you! You shot through the lava and hit me. You ass. So that's not helping, just because of the fact. Uh. Well, sounds like it's helping down below. Uh, look out down there. Got some melted cheese coming down. Actually, I don't, it's not too bad like melted cheese in this patch. Oh, ouch. It's all right, ouch. Stop it. Mm. I'd like to get onto that ledge right there. Now, how would he be anticipating That, he, that we would come. How would he be anticipating that we would be getting over here? Did he figure that we would bridge? My word, listen to that. Wow, what a racket. Okay, you know what we need to do is this. Let's hit him. And hit him. Oh, you know what? Crap. Should have gone while it was a good time to go, but care about that. I don't care about that. I don't know why I'm throwing those as opposed to just leaving them in the chest to despawn, but whatever. Alright. There. Now I don't have to worry about coming back to that. So the good news is the gas spawners don't seem to be spinning up. I'm assuming them being in the corners of the room like that makes it feel more like they are not something we were necessarily guaranteed to tangle with. It almost feels like they're there as a dissuasion, but dissuading you from what? I don't know. There, it's not like there's a whole lot of options here. I just noticed. Look at that. Well, I'm think I'm thinking that if we uh if we want to make any kind of headway in this area. Probably we're gonna want to do something about these uh, little mini fun boxes here. Mini fun boxes. It's like something you would get at Halloween, only oh, creeper flavored and skeleton flavored and zombie flavored instead of chicken and or chicken, yeah, chocolate and cherry flavored chicken, yeah, chicken flavored candy. Yum yum. Get over here. When I was a kid, there were these things. I think they still exist. I'm not completely sure, but I think I've seen them recently. They were like these, these like, 
crunchy candy stick. They were called Chico stick and they might have been peanut butter to this day. I'm not sure what the hell they were, coconut or something. They were like orange. I haven't had one in years, but the point is, when I was little, because they were called Chico Stick, I thought they were chicken, like chicken flavored. And I think there used to be a picture of a chicken on the label. Uh, so, you know, I thought that it was chicken flavored candy. And I was always trying so hard to figure out where the chicken flavor was. Like, you know, it didn't taste like chicken to me. Um, also, a friend of mine ate one of those and got chicken pox immediately thereafter. So for a very long time, I was convinced that one had something to do with the other. Instead of it just being the days before they had uh, uh, vaccines for chicken pox. So. All right, so let's get down this ladder carefully. Let's try not to just absolutely just blow it. And I'm hoping. Now, I'm pretty sure that if we crack open this outer shell, yeah, there's bad guys in there. Um, oh, you know what? Oh. Get around here. And do this, because they're going to spawn through the walls. Yep, which is what happened right here. They're going to spawn through the walls if it's dark out here. Why did I just do that? funny how often I put torches down next to each other. Oh, look at that. That was an accident. I did not mean to block that off, but I am so glad I did. Um, so let's do that. Let's get a little more lava in there. Get that flowing. And then, before that lava goes away, let's block that so that we don't have to deal with them before we want to. Also... I did not want to leave that lava flowing for very long uh, with all the creepers and the skeletons and everything else. I figured that was liable to get our source block shot. Um, I only brought one source block. Arrows are good because we're out of arrows. I don't care about zombie flesh. I'll take bricks. I don't care about the rest of that. Honestly, I don't. Maybe I didn't let it flow long enough, because there sure doesn't seem to be much lava in there. So, apparently, I was being a little bit too paranoid about it. Let's give it a minute to let it flow. There we go. I think that's, that's the ticket now. That's the ticket. That's the stuff. Let's block this. Make ourselves a little walkway. Oh, well, look at that. Ow, stop that. Stop that. Um, okay. There we go. Now, can I kind of see what's going on in there? Yeah, I can. Okay. Now, this feels very cheaty to me, poking through these walls, but there's no way in hell I'm going in there, you guys. Seriously. Like, that's just stupid talk right there. Go into a box like that with all those enemies and stuff. Because you can't... Because you can't, there's, uh, ow. You can't not walk into the lava, apparently. Let's get over here toward the front door. See if we've actually managed to subdue it at all. Oh my. Uh. You know what should really be on the bar? <laughs> If I had a spare one, oh. If I had brought two of those, I would drink one, but I didn't, so. I don't want to drink it if I don't have to, but. Wish I had the luxury to. Sorry. I hope you guys didn't hear my desk chair creaking. I had to adjust. I wasn't sitting quite right, apparently, and suddenly my, my, uh, my foot fell asleep. Now, was there a chest right here? Was that somewhere else that I saw that? Okay, it must have been some chest. Okay. Hi. I 
really don't want you to blow up because I kind of have this very careful thing going here. And if you guys start blowing up, my very careful thing gets... Whatever. Okay. Actually, I can't light that up effectively, so I'm just going to block it off for now. Until something. I don't know what, but something. I sure hear a lot of zombies. Are they out here? No. Huh. There's, is there another? There might be another floor. Whatever, look in the chest. Um, arrows are nice. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The wood. I don't really need them, but I'll, I'll top off this stack. There we go. Nothing else in there is actually needed, honestly. So let's go ahead and break that. I hear zombies walking, but I can't. I'm not sure where they are. Uh, maybe up top, actually. Maybe? No? I don't know. Why can't I... I can't place a block right there. Thank you. It's annoying. I think I think there must be an upstairs. Whoa. Chain boots. Did I accidentally throw away some chain mail? If I did, I'm sorry. Um, but it's also possible I did because I have all the iron ever, but still. Okay, obviously I'm missing a path. What if the lava's blocking something? Let's see. Ah, glow water! Water, you suck. Dang it. Let's see what's what here. So obviously there's a part of the dungeon I'm not finding, and it's more than possible it's underneath the lava somewhere. So, where is it up? Let's see. Or is it up there? No, there's bedrock down there, so I bet you it's up there. But how? Okay, that's that. How do we get up there? Am I being blind? That's our ladder. I was like, hey, there it is. No, that's that's us. Oh, right. That path that I said I would come back and investigate. Uh, well. It's time. Because I bet you anything that's where we need to go. But I want to be careful. Because... I don't want... Yeah, that. Um. Don't blow up, please. Don't blow up, thank you. Sorry I got quiet. I was kind of concentrating. Sure, you guys, you know, can't imagine why I was concentrating. Probably to keep from getting blown up terribly. Oh, hello. Crazy torch, spam go! This is bad because I can't actually do anything. Oh, uh oh. I did not even notice my sword was about to die. There. Whoops. Do that. Now if they fall, maybe they'll fall uh, into the lava. Down below. Probably not. Hey, you have a sword. Can I borrow that for a minute, please? I promise to give it back. Yikes! Okay, maybe I can fall into the lava. Wow, that was close. Yikes! Run. When it goes bad, it has a way of going really bad. Let's not die to those creepers and have our stuff blown up. And then it'll fall into the lava and I will be pissed. 
Ooh, that was close. Okay, cool. Whoa, spider webs. So you can sit there and think about what you've done. I almost forgot, you guys. I almost forgot that we're on, uh, I guess you could call this an island. Uh, what's the, ah, oh, shoot, my water's still down there. I need that. Crap. 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 They must be falling, which is kind of what I wanted them to do, but they must not be dying like I wanted them to. So they're, so they're here instead of being having died so wow that was scary whoo that was close hmm so let's see what do we want to do here i need to get back across here so let's see i'm gonna end a pearl over uh oh there's a guy oh no Ray for emergency water bucket usage, right? Right. Oh dear. Except uh air. Ah, nuts. Well, I wasn't going to do that, but I kind of had no choice. But I wasn't going to do it until I had no choice. So, there is that. Can I please stop being pushed around by the water? Look, water, you're awesome, and I appreciate it greatly, but, well, now you're being scary. Um, so let's get up there, I guess. Well, at least I didn't miss the Ender Pearl throw, but I did when I was looking to make the Ender Pearl throw. I glanced into the eyes of the world's most cranky Enderman. And so he tried to make us have a very, very bad day. But I said, no, we don't need another stack of uh, four. I started to say six. Four stone axes, we just don't need. I really hope something doesn't come up and push us in from behind. Though we are somewhat safe. Yeah, see, there's... It... I'm... Um... Let's see. Oh, crap. There's another enderman. I'm trying to look because I'm confused now. Looks like you go down, too. Hmm. Oh, hey, look at that. We are level 30. Well, eh, I... Damn, I want to use up our levels. But on the other hand, I have to move the ender table... Or ender table? Enchanting table all the way over to the monument base. And get myself over to the monument base. So, let's just try not to die. Okay. Oh, I fixed this sword while I had the points, but then I left it in a box until I got the lay of the land. But, uh, eh, whatever. Um, let's see. I wish... Well, we're just gonna try really hard not to die. I do not want to lose the levels we have, because it occurred to me I wouldn't mind doing a level 30 bow. So... But let me throw some of this junk away. Lots of cobble. Like, lots of cobble. It's kind of nice. <laughs> oh, I was going to make a night vision potion for, um, Pleasant Lake, or whatever it's called, so that I could more easily see into the creeper fountain and see what to do about it. I don't think we have gold. So, I'm not making a night vision potion. Eh, whatever. All right, let's get back in there real quick. There, I could have cut, but that's okay. I talked about stuff, so better that I didn't. Crap, but you know what I do need to do, actually? I need to build a better way to get over there. I'm, well. I'm really curious. Let's do this and I should cut this out but I'm not because it's dark out here so if there's spawners down there they're going to start spawning outside and if there's a skeleton there he could shoot at us so oh that didn't take me near as long as I thought it would let's put torches and a landing 
Oh, that's that. Okay. Just checking. But now we have a walkway. Yay. And it was less risky than going across. Um, but I didn't realize I was going to come down or come back in on a side with lava. So. Um, gee. Well, now I know where all the enemies outside are coming from. They're coming from up top and falling in. So let's block that. But try to keep... Yeah, there's so many spawners up there. How do we want to do this? Let's get up here quickly. Whatever we do, let's do it fast. Okay, that that worked. Now there's obviously creeper spawners still. And they're spawning outside, like we saw. So I can't just light it up in here. Because, well... They're gonna spawn outside still. Up. Ah, damn. I need... Blocks. I need blocks. I need you to go away, and I need blocks. Thank you. Let me deal with one problem at a time, please. It's bedrock ceiling, so whatever's here, this is about it. I think this is probably the room. Now, I keep hearing creepers falling. Where's the creeper spawner at? Yeah, I'm hearing creepers fall outside. They're falling into our lava. There's stuff. Yay, stuff. None of it's that exciting, but it's stuff, and I like stuff. So yay, stuff, like I said. Is that our brick? Apparently not. Where's the creeper spawner, Vex? Hey, gray wool! Oh, hey, that's one of the colors we were missing. I guess we were meant to do this first. Gee, I wonder if maybe he was hoping we would do the area that's over lava before we do the area where we get unlimited iron for buckets. It's uh, another word, I guess. Leave the zombie flesh behind. Now, I'm still hearing a lot of monsters. Is this it? Ow. Where's the creeper spawner that I'm hearing? Or, I kept hearing creepers fall. Well, let's kill these guys and see if it gets quiet. It doesn't feel like, we, like we've explored enough to have found this whole, or all the rooms here. Like, the upstairs felt much bigger than that. But, the thing is... Why do you exist? Why are you there? I'm going to assume we found everything? I'm not hearing a lot of other monsters, so we must have found just about everything. Right? Let's do this so we can get around here without setting ourselves on fire. Okay, so the ghasts are there for... What? And also... You guys see that? I, I moved over to the side, because sometimes it's easier to see out of the side of your screen, but I like how I'm standing on this little bridge. I guess that's just lighting glitch on those blocks, kind of like that. Only that one's bigger, so it's easier to tell that's what it is. Whoa! Okay, so I think this area is done. It's a very small area, but... After the last area, it that was very, very probably on purpose. Um, also, Peaceful Lake, I'm wondering how big that one is. I'm kind of assuming that we're going to find, in the back of that creeper fountain, that we're going to find uh, a room of some sort or something like that. Uh, but I'm not sure, so... But yeah, I guess 
that'll do it, pets. Well, we didn't die in there. Almost. It was close for a second. We almost. But we didn't. So, yay. Finally. Finally, the streak is over. Maybe I can go without dying for a bit, you guys. And in the meantime, I get to enchant another level 30 item. Uh, it'll either be a bow. Oh, there's our potatoes. It'll either be a bow or it will be another pair of diamond or a pair of diamond pants because we have a couple pairs of diamond pants and that's what I've been doing is enchanting the diamond stuff as we get level 30s. Um, so I don't really know what I'm going to do there. I'll figure it out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and next episode we'll go back into Pleasant Lake, Peaceful Lake. What is that place called? Damn it. I think it's Peaceful Lake, not Pleasant Lake. Yep. There's a Lake Pleasant here in Arizona. That's probably why I keep calling it Pleasant Lake. But anyway, we're going to go back in there to the peaceful lake that isn't peaceful. False advertising, bait and switch. That, isn't that like against the rules? Well, we're going to go do something about that. And uh, yeah, so that should be something to look forward to, you guys. Everybody, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye now.